Hi, my name is Steve Houston. Welcome back to my channel. It is 4th of July weekend in the United States. It is our Independence Day. It is a great time to celebrate the country's independence. And I hope that if you are in an area uh, where you were able to uh, take some time off from work, or better yet, if you had an opportunity to actually have a job, well, I can't really say that either because I'm not, I'm not a big fan of jobs. But the point is <laughs> that you had an opportunity to get out and have some time to uh, rest, relax, spend time with some family. I know in a, I'm in California right now where we didn't have any official fireworks, but we sure had a lot of unofficial fireworks, and it was great. But more importantly, I hope you are uh, taking this opportunity that we have seen our industry triple in volume in the last uh, uh, six or nine months due to the... Uh, all the pandemic, COVID stuff. You know, you heard me say all the time that life insurance is an event-based business. And there's no greater event than a pandemic to scare the crap out of people to go buy some insurance. So, uh, look, it's a great opportunity to make a decision uh, to be involved in a leads-based opportunity to whereby you can actually uh, work leads. Call on the folks that has to be called. No cold calling here. And, uh, and build that residual and passive income so that you, while the whole country is celebrating uh, the Independence Day for the country, you are working on your own independence and personal liberty. This video is about the Law of Large Numbers Expanded. Now, I do have a video on this channel called the Law of Large Numbers. I'll try to remember to put it up here. I'm way behind on, on those card things or whatever. But listen, if you're brand new, before I get too far ahead of myself, uh, appreciate your support. Appreciate you being on this channel. We talk about all things related to financial services on this channel. But more importantly, we try to help you make a decision before you're making a mistake based on you know the right IMO, the right comp plan, but it's not just about the right IMO. It's also about who you sign up with. Do they have a, a time-tested and proven duplicatable system that they can teach you and coach you on, this, on the things that matter, the success skill set that matters in this industry? And a lot of times that's not the IMO, that day-to-day -day ground level support, teaching you the, those skills, phone script, uh, you know, uh, in-home presentation, how to pick the products, all that. So this is how to run your business, how to become a great agent. Skills that last a lifetime isn't going to come from the IMO specifically. It's going to come from somebody that's there to help you case by case, day to day, paint by the numbers. And that's what we do for our agents. And that's our recommend that you do, you find for yourself. Okay. And so we try to flush out all that stuff. Now I have about, uh, let's see, three different documents I want to give you today. The first one is that document. I've got a document that has 12 to 15 different things that you should be asking uh, the IMO or the recruiter, more importantly, that's trying to sign you up. Because a lot of these guys are recruit, 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 don't have any kind of a system, never sold any kind of insurance, much less sold mortgage station and final expense life insurance, right? They're just reading out of a book. They're looking at the, at the MLM concept or the network marketing uh, concept where I'm going to recruit a bunch of people and somebody's going to make me rich. And, uh, you know, hey, listen, uh, that kind of a person can't teach you anything. So you want to find someone that leads from the front. That's kind of what we try to flush out here on this channel. Uh, and uh, based on all the comments and, and, and phone calls I get throughout the week, we're doing a fairly decent job of telling it like it is. Some like it, some don't, and that's okay. It is what it is, and everybody has their own opinions. We're a world full of opinions that haven't noticed it yet, right? So uh, I have a document that I'm going to give you. If stay to the end of this, we have an uh, Agent Success Academy. That link is in the description, and you can sign up for that as well. I have two other documents. They're actually spreadsheets that's going to help you with this law of large numbers. This is the expanded or part two or updated 2020 version, right? And you hear me say it all the time, this is business of numbers. Success here is nothing more than a mathematical equation. Some people hear the law of large numbers, but then they go out and they operate their business on the law of low numbers, and they just don't understand what you're doing to your chance of success by cutting numbers down and never really making your number before the week starts. So if, if, if success is a mathematical equation, then you know obviously when you're starting out, you're at your weakest point. Uh, in terms of, of knowledge, and so you're learning this business, and so your, your closing percentages are going to be much lower than they are for somebody like myself who's been doing this for many, 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 many years, okay? So if you know that number, then you know what kind of activity it's going to take. You know how much, 
how many how many leads you need to buy. You know you need you know how much how many appointments you need to set. You know if you set that many appointments, how many people on average you're going to see, right? So all those things are numbers, and I'm not really a um, a detail oriented guy. I hate details. I want to go out there and just throw it all against the wall, and you know some will stick, some won't, and that's you know done pretty well in my lifetime to be to have that attitude. But I've got to answer this. She's a detail person. Uh, uh, I like numbers because they empower us. And if you know the numbers, you can dial in your activity to get you the success that you're looking for. Because success is different for everybody, right? Some people come here and they want to make $500 a week. Some people will come here and they want to make $50,000 a week. <laughs> okay? So uh, you can't, it's, it's not a rubber stamp program. The activities that you need to do to get the results that you're looking for, I can tell you those, and those apply to everybody. But obviously, if you want to do one app a week, it, your, your, your activity level and what you need to be focusing on is going to be different than the guy that wants to do 20 apps a week. Does that make sense? So 10 appointments set will get you uh, an average of six people uh, to sit with, right? So you, I have a video up here, again, uh, same, shameless plug, but it will kind of go into this 10, 6, 3, Program or 15, 12, and 8. There's two, one part-time, one full-time. So I'm going to take the 10, 6, 3, which I think is really part-time activity. So 10 appointments set will get you on average six people to sit with in the home. And that will generate on average three, okay, three applications. And I consider, like I said, this really uh, a part-time activity. A full-time activity for you guys that are, that are looking to either be full-time from day one or to transition uh, to full-time is 15 appointments that'll get you on average 12 sits and you'll write six to eight applications a week and you know that's a minimum activity for for full-timers i've got people that are doing you know 15 to 17 appointments 20 appointments 25 appointments and they're making two three four hundred thousand dollars a year so again uh you may not want to make four hundred thousand dollars a year but again it's all about getting your number and understanding your number so the question you have to ask yourself is this by sunday evening and that's tonight have you hit your number? This is where so many people get themselves off track. Even when you know the numbers, you're not, you don't have a big enough why or a big enough uh, reason to be in this business or to be successful. Maybe you've got a job. Well, no disrespect to jobs, but jobs demotivate people because we all fall into our own comfort zones. And unfortunately, some people's comfort zones are in a, are in a place that they hate. They hate their job. They hate having to get up on a Monday morning and sit in traffic and drive to work. They hate going to have, you know, ask their boss if I can have time off to go to take my child to the doctor. They hate all that stuff, but it's their comfort zone. And, and to make a change would be, in their minds, painful and not really worth it. And and I don't have a whole lot to say to that person, except that when you become sick and tired of being sick and tired, then, then maybe something will change. There's an old saying, until the pain of change it becomes greater than the pain of the same nothing is ever going to change in your life. Figure that one out. Give me a thumbs up on that one because uh, it's so true. I mean, you, you, can, you can apply to smoking, you can apply to uh, drinking, you can apply to, uh, you know, living a life of poverty, uh, you know, at week after week after week, not making the money you need to support your family or even to support yourself. And, and it's a comfort zone. We all hate it, but hey, you know, until the pain of the same becomes greater than the pain of change. So until being in that place becomes more painful than the pain it will take to make that change, you're never going to change nothing. You can watch a thousand of my YouTube videos, and it's not going to make any difference, right? So again, that's my soapbox for for this video. If I'd stopped the soapboxes, the videos wouldn't be so long. <laughs> Look, it's Sunday night. You have determined that you need to set 15 appointments in order for you to uh, hit your number, right? And it, you know, and this is where people get themselves off track. If you haven't done that and you only do a portion of the number that you need, for example, you need uh, 10 appointments and you set five, and some of you just quit, not quit the business, but you quit dialing. The people that are successful that I have on my team, if their number's 10, they're going to keep dialing and they're going to keep buying, you know, $2, $6, whatever it is, leads until they get that number because they know success here is a mathematical equation. And if I need 10 and set 5, I'm setting myself up for disaster or failure, right? Because based on my closing percentages, 
If I'm all, if I'm at a 30% closing ratio and I need 10 to write three, what do you think I'm going to get with five? That's the problem, right? You're now using the law of low numbers and low numbers never work in anything that we do, right? You're not giving yourself a chance to succeed and hit your financial needs or goals for the week. You are, in effect, setting yourself up for failure, not success. That's the point of this whole video. It's like baking a cake. You can't leave out certain ingredients and hope the cake comes out right. If you're in a hurry, you can't set the temperature to bake the cake at 450 when it calls for 350. <laughs> you got to follow the, the recipe, right? There's a recipe for success. You have to understand to succeed here, again, like I said, is nothing more than a mathematical equation. And it's based on the law of large numbers. And if you use the law of low numbers, the numbers, you don't get 50%, right? If you need 10, you set 5. You don't get 50% of, of what you need for the week. You may not get anything you need for the week because it's all about volume, large numbers, and and averages, if you use law of low numbers, the numbers just don't work right. That's the point. If you want to earn a six-figure income and you have set 10 appointments per week, period, and if you don't, you won't earn the six figures, okay? If you want to earn six-figure income, you have to set a minimum of 10 appointments per week, period. And if you don't, you won't earn six figures. And in fact, if you do little activity over a long period of time, it becomes a habit and you put your entire success in this business at risk. Here's what really happens to people that are struggling. They're not closing deals. They're, they're getting porched. They're getting no show too much. They've gone weeks without making sales or weeks without making consistent sales every single week. It's a natural tendency to focus on the details rather than focusing on the activity. That is getting us the results that we don't like, right? It's all about the activity, not the results. If you do the right activity, you'll get the results you're looking for. Here's the deal. We can't control the results. We can only control the activity that gets us the results. So this is where many of you get yourself off track. You start having issues, you start running, you're not doing the numbers you need to do, the wheels start coming off, and you start questioning the opportunity. Well, the opportunity is already validated by the thousands upon thousands of agents that we have earning multiple six figures in this business with only personal production. Then you question the leads. Well, again, hundreds are buying the same leads as you are, right? That's how I check myself before I start buying into something. I look around and go, well, is, you know, is, 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 there's a lot of people in this in the industry that are very successful. Well, there's a lot of people in this industry buying the exact same leads that I'm buying, and they're very successful, right? And then, you know, there's a lot of people doing the same in-home presentation that I use, and they're very successful, right? And then you realize you can't use those for an excuse because all that's been validated to work. So it has to be me. See, so many people aren't willing to take personal responsibility and say, Steve, in the mirror, you're screwing up, right? <laughs> right? Look, you figure out sooner or later, if you stay in the business long enough, you don't bankrupt yourself, you understand that 99% of the time, it was none of these things. It was you didn't set yourself up for success using the law of large numbers. You did a minimum activity and expected the maximum results. Look, Using the law of Lowe's numbers, which never work, not for this business, not for any business. It can. As they say, a blind dog finds a bone once in a while, but it rarely happens. The answer is to never wake up to a Monday morning not having set yourself up for success by making sure that you have hit your number by Sunday night. This means if you're full-time, by the time you're watching this, you should have a minimum 15 appointments set for this upcoming week. Here's my last note. The last figure, 10, 6, 3, or 15, 12, 6, that last number, the 3 and the 6, largely depends on your personal closing average, right? Numbers are a wonderful thing, aren't they? If you understand your personal numbers and track them, success here, as I said, is nothing more than a mathematical equation, but you got to apply your numbers. You'll know with certainty how many leads you need to buy, track your conversion rate 
for the type of leads purchased, the number of leads purchased, the number of appointments set, the number of sits removing cancellations and no-shows, and lastly, your number of sits versus the apps that you wrote, okay? Know your numbers, dial in your success, and then the only blame you can place on yourself is, you guessed it, by not hitting your number by Sunday evening. And you gotta desire success enough to keep buying leads, keep dialing Sunday until you have your number. Do me a favor, post a comment below this video on a Sunday once you hit your number, right? So I know you'll be successful this week, not to my standards, success is different for each one of us, but to your standards and what your personal number is to make sure you are supporting yourself and your loved ones. This industry is on fire, but you gotta hit your number each week and you gotta show up for your own business before you're forced to show up for somebody else's. Here's the numbers you wanna track, okay? Right here. There's your trackables. Number of leads, type of leads, number of contacts, number of appointments set, number of sits, and number of apps written, and you'll find out what your closing ratio is, right? Now listen, I told you, let me see if I can pull it up here, that I had something to share with you. On the screen here is a spreadsheet for PC or Mac that you can dial in the type of leads that you're working and figure out what you need to buy in terms of leads, how many of them, and how it affects your income. The next thing I want to give you is this sheet, right? Similar, but now you can track your, uh, le your, the leads you buy per week and your cost per lead, your total number of leads, your total, number of, your total cost of leads, right? And your apps. And they're all the way over here, it's going to show you what your, what your potential income is going to be, okay? Now, there's the link. It's a bit.ly link. It's not a spam link. It just lets me know how many people click on it to see if you're taking, if these offers that I'm giving you for free, uh, you're taking advantage of. That's it. It's, it's, uh, you can see it on the screen there. You can cut and paste it. I'll put it in the description also, or you can just click on it. But it's uh, bit.ly, bit.ly forward slash track my numbers. You'll sign up for our Agent Success Academy, which is more videos like this, some free documents, a lot of mindset stuff, and then those three uh, downloads that are all for free and, and no cost. All right? So listen, happy 4th of July. We love each and every one of you that has uh, deep personal conviction uh, to leave it on the battlefield and grab your piece of personal liberty and independence, which is our work-life balance, and to support our channel here. Let's finish 2020 strong. We're only about halfway into the year. Plenty of time to go out and make yourself six figures. As always, I'm always here. My phone number's in the description. You can text me, email me, uh, or you can call me, right? Make sure you sign up for the Agent Success Academy. We're going to send you that personal income sheet. You can track your numbers. You can send them to me and I'll help you identify where your weaknesses are so we can focus on your strengths. Again, like I said, happy 4th. This is the American day of celebrating our independence as a country. I love this time of the year because it reminds me why it is so worth it to work, invest, and focus on success in an industry where we can have total autonomy, we can have total work-life balance, freedom, and personal liberty in our own business. It's available to all of us. You that are watching today can certainly acquire this as well. All it takes is a decision followed by a relentless need and desire to design your life, not somebody else's, your life, not your boss. Your boss is taking the weekend off because you're working and supporting his lifestyle, right? Have a desire to design your life, own your income, and stop giving up that control to a job. A boss doesn't care about you or your family or your dreams. They had their lifestyle because you are making the sacrifice for them so they can have the life they dreamed of having. Like, comment, subscribe, mash the bell, and know your numbers. Bye-bye.